Hey, what's going on everyone? JSTCG here coming at you with a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening and today we're going to open up the Dark World Structure deck. This has been out for a couple weeks now. I was just finally able to pick up my three copies. I thought I'd open up one of them on camera. We'll do some deck profiles and talk about the cards and stuff like that in future videos as well. But let's go ahead and crack this open. There's some awesome new cards in here. There's Lots of good reprints as well, so this is pretty decent. And if you buy three of these, you can put together a pretty good budget deck. And of course, if you have other cards in your collection, you can upgrade this and make it a really competitive deck. I love Dark Worlds. I have been a fan since they came out years ago, and it's nice to see that they have some new support and lots of people are playing them now. So let's crack this open. All right, so of course we have the deck itself and the playmat. The playmat, of course, is just paper. I think if you, like, entered your local OTS tournament around the time they were releasing the structure decks, you could probably get a mouse pad material rubber playmat. But anyways, this is the paper one. Still pretty cool. All right, so here is the deck. Basically, we have this new version of Rainbow. This is Rainbow Over King of Dark World. Love the artwork on all these guys. Ultra rare. And then we have another ultra here, which is Dark World uh, Puppetry. Quick play spell. After that, we have Dark World Archives. Oh, that's pretty cool artwork. Kind of a creepy library. Then we have the new Graffa. It's a fusion monster here. We have Graffa, Dragon Overlord of Dark World. This card's really good. Even tier limits are playing this card. A few other decks can take advantage of this, but this is like the new boss monster for the deck. And we have one more ultra rare here, which is Dark World Accession. We have a couple supers here. We have Genta, Gateman of Dark World. I think this is a card you probably want to play three of. Um, and then we have Parl, Hermit of Dark World. We have a counter trap here, Dark World Punishment. That's pretty cool. And now we move into like the commons and stuff. So we have a lot of the original ones, a few new ones in here, but we have Rainbow, Lucent. I don't remember. I think this might be a new one. We have Latinum, Gold, Silva. Those are the old school ones. Bron, Beige, Brow, Scar, Khaki, Gren, Ceruli. This card's awesome. And then we even have the commons here. We have Xur and Renge. And then we have a lot of dangers. The dangers are an awesome archetype. Of course, there was danger tier limits, but for a long time I was playing dangers in blue eyes because there was some level eight synergy there. But we have danger Bigfoot, danger Thunderbird, danger Mothman. We have danger snake. I love that little guy. Lilith. We have a Fabled Raven and an Absolute King Backjack. This card's good in trap-heavy decks, so I'll definitely be putting this in my Labyrinth deck I'm working on. And then we have the spell cards here. So we have Dark World Dealings, Charge into a Dark World, Gateway to Dark World, Dark World Lightning, Drag Down into the Grave, and Card Destruction. For traps, we have the Forces of Darkness, Dark World Brainwashing, Dark Smog, Mind Crush, Deck Devastation Virus, that's really good for like the side deck, or you might even want to main it in this deck, Paleozoic, Dynamiscus, and Skill Drain. You have a couple other cards here being the original Graffa, Snow, this card's really good, this is a 3 of for sure, and the Gates of Dark World, which is the Field Spell. And then we have some advertisements for Master Duel and Duel Links and Tactical Masters. All right. Overall, I think this is one of the better structure decks. It's got a few decent reprints. Skill Drain's nice to have. There's some other spells and traps that are nice. If you don't have any of the danger stuff, this is a good start to let you get some of those. So if you like Dark Worlds or you're looking to pick up a budget deck that can still perform very well, I think Dark World is a great way to go. I think it's more competitive for sure than the Crystal Beast Structure deck that we recently had. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to do like a full power deck profile after I do some testing and see exactly how I want to build the deck. I'm leaning towards doing like a Danger Dark World deck, 
but we'll see. But let me know what you think of this deck and of this video. If you enjoyed it, you can hit that like button and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos coming in the future. I want to make 2023 my best year on YouTube, so if you guys want to follow along on that journey and support, it is greatly appreciated. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, peace out, and have a good one. Thank you.